Greetings of peace, brothers and sisters. Today, let's reflect more on the beauty of God's rule of love. I'm Sister Rosalie for the Gospel Power of Today. Jesus said to his disciples, When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them, for your Father knows what you need before you ask Him. Pray then in this way, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Asking God to let His kingdom come and to let His will be done here on earth in the manner that it is done in heaven is really a petition for our own inner transformation. Why? Since the kingdom of God is God's rule of love, the first earthly domain that it claims for itself is the human heart. When God's rule of love is established in human hearts, then obedience to the will of God becomes a sacred duty. And when the will of God is obeyed on earth by human beings who are moved by the divine love, then everything will fall into place according to God's vision. And the face of the earth will then be renewed. Our present situation tells us that we need to continue praying and to do so with greater intensity. One human heart has already become the perfect domain of God's rule of love on earth, the heart of the man Jesus of Nazareth. He is the pledge and guarantee that other human hearts, hopefully yours and mine, will also submit to God's rule of love. Lord Jesus, conquer our hearts with your love so that God's will may be fulfilled on earth as it is fulfilled in heaven. Amen. We are here to provide a new way of communicating and proclaiming the gospel.